Well, there's a lot of people asking the question, since Australia, did Mercedes lose it, did Ferrari win it? Which is probably not the most respectful to Ferrari, but what's your take on that? Um, Ferrari won it. You know, as I said, they did a better job. It wasn't ours to lose. Um, it was it was both of ours to win, and they did the job at the end of the day. The, the day. Um, for sure, you can always go back in, in a lot of scenarios and, and say if you'd done this differently, you could win. But that's hindsight, and you know we don't live in a world where any of us have that. So um, there'll be, yeah, I think they won it fair and square, and that's what makes it exciting. Um, their car is stronger in certain areas and our car is stronger in certain areas and again I think that's what's going to make the season exciting hopefully. Qualifying has always been important but a lot of drivers were talking about how difficult it is to overtake on track therefore do you think that qualifying and Saturday performance is going to almost shape the rest of the weekend particularly this year? Um, I think it already was the case before um, you know, in the top, you know, in the top five cars, whatever it is, there's such a small margin between each driver that it's, and in a f it is a known fact that uh, you have to have a certain delta in speed compared to the car in front to be able to have a, sh a, sh a fighting chance of getting past. If you're only a couple tenths between each other, you're going to stay in the train. There's no, there's nothing you can do, um, and that's how racing is. And I think there's going to, it will continue. I think it's going to be similar to last year, but just maybe magnified a little bit more.